Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. So, we've got, um... A bucket of rubble. Hold on, the rock there. I'm assuming these are just junk, so I don't know if I will need them. Why do different things have different colors of text? I just realized that. I never thought about it before. I'm assuming I need to go outside of the village to drop this rubble off. So, let's do that. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to dump it out here? Let's try that. Okay, cool. I emptied it out there. So, I... I'm gonna grab a second bucket. Every time I go back in through here, I should probably just try to grab a bucket if there's one there. That'll, uh, save me a little bit of time and energy. Alright, so here we go. Climb over the wall. I've got a second bucket. And then I'm assuming that these, uh, these nails and stuff are gonna be useful for... ...whatever it is that we're gonna make. Thirteen piles. Oh, that's right, because I cleared two of them out. I'm assuming I can just dismantle the rock and the glass, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. Let's remove that. Okay. Managed to break it into smaller pieces. We're getting there. Let's get that. Okay. Oh, did I- did I not have to use more than one bucket? There we go. Oh, I got a plaster fragment. I should probably read things before I do them. Alright. Okay, so now I've got a second bucket. Okay, let's read this. The plaster have some pictograms on it, which you make out to be a small map of Mauritania. Within the map are depictions of seven figures near the salve, near to where the Temple of Serdomen now stands. One figure, the seventh, stands forwards the other six and looks masculine. He seems to have an item in one hand which he holds aloft and his other hand holds some sort of container. Emanating from the sky appear to be two rays of light. Green, you think represents Guthix, and silver rep represents Serdomen. The seventh figure seems to be surrounded by this light. All the figures depicted to hold items, and some are commented. You see that some holds a mace, another a cudgel. The forward standing figure holds something called Silverthil. Silverith. Silvithril. And yet another figure holds a sword. You also notice that some signs are representing chemical formulas, which point to the container held by the figure standing forwards the main group. They represent the elements silver, garlic, harlander, and eggs of the red arachnid. This figure seems to be administering this potion to a dark creature held on some sort of powerful force. This is quite a, clearly an artist's impression of some moment in Mauritania's history. Interesting. Okay. So that's pretty clearly important. Let's try... Uh, something else here. Okay, nothing in there. Is it three per... three per bucket? Is that what I'm getting out of this? Oh, okay, more junk. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are just junk because I can... Okay, I can't carry that one. Okay, so how many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it would have been nice if I had known that before, because then I could have used my second bucket. I could have used my first bucket with three, and then I would have only needed two two buckets. But I can just grab another bucket here. I'm assuming I'm I I am assuming I'm not going to need these, so I'm just going to do that. And because these are junk items elsewhere already, let me head over to uh, um. What's this, what's this town called again? Uh, Morton. Let's head over to Morton and then drop off some <laughs> rubble. Okay, empty bucket. Okay, cool. There we go. I'm just dumping it in the text town over. Sounds good to me. I'll just put these down here. 
And then I'm assuming that I'm going to be able to use this stuff to repair the town somehow. So let's do that. Seven piles. Oh, they moved. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's interesting how it resets every time you come down here. So I'm assuming I'm going to need to make whatever it is that was depicted on there. Okay. Perfect. All right, we'll be able to clear this out in this uh, in this run here. And then we don't have to worry about nothing. Find a scroll with interesting inscriptions on it. All right. You take the scroll and gingerly unravel it. It seems very old and the language is not easy to make out. You begin to see that it looks like a letter of some kind. My dearest Lantania. I know not what these dark hours bring. I will come for thee as soon as I am able. I care no longer for the possessions which time you did this wasted land of, and the living which I am earned from it. Prepare, I prepare, prepare for leaving soon. I shall be there with haste. And with Sir Doman's blessings we shall make our way out of Hallovale westwards over the salve towards Misthelin, and hopefully into the arms of our brethren. I also offer up a prayer to Sir Doman that he may help. Queen Eferite in her hour of need, and somehow fight these beasts back to the dead place from which they came. I cry at the plight of our poor An A Ascotes, and offer up a prayer for their children in this darkest of hours. So make ready your plans, and soon as you see me, so we shall set for Mistelin. Bring only what you need. We shall need good fortune and speed in this, our last chance at a life together. Yours most faithfully. Silathin. Silathin. Okay, interesting. I don't know. I've I've recognized some of those names, but I don't think I recognize Silathin. I I don't. That doesn't sound familiar to me. Okay. Four left. This is actually really interesting. Um, I like how there's like. Just little bits of storytelling in these rubble piles. Alright, I should be able to clear these out now, so we'll be good. And then I'm assuming from there I need to figure out how to save the city. Nothing from there? Okay. I, I've, I've taken to pausing for a little bit immediately afterwards of clearing these, just in case. Because that's how they seem to have stuff show up. Nope. Okay, good. Last one. Okay. And... there we go. As you clear away the last of the rubble from the in-base- whoa! Something happened. Oh, hello. As you clear away the last of the rubble from the in-basement, you notice a dusty-looking wall plaque which you hadn't noticed before. Which is... here. Okay, got it. I did get quite a few nails, too. You read the wall plaque. Blessings on a ferrite. Our Iseen queen from far-off lands and her loving children of the hallowed name. Oh! Oh, this is stuff that was related to the, the archaeology dig that I was do doing before. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's go clear out this stuff here. And then from there, we will, uh, we'll figure out what we're supposed to do. Okay, so we've got ask to help the locals. Okay, so I guess after I do this, we're gonna just talk to each of the lo all each of the population people, and see if there's anything that we can do to help. Um. Okay, empty bucket, empty bucket, and empty bucket. Okay, so I'm clearly gonna need these two things, possibly. The buckets, I'm just gonna keep, um, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. There isn't a bank, no, this is the only bank here. Alright, let's see if I can't, uh, right, let's start with you. Hello, my friend, what can I do for you? Oh, the task system, okay. I do want to get the bank running so I can clear out my inventory here, that would be nice. 
Did I just see something bright red flash over there? I think I did. Hey there, I'm finished with my project. Oh, that's good to know. Um, I'd like to help fix up the town. Oh, that's very kind of you. Hmm, perhaps you can consider fixing up the general store. Go on and have a chat with the store owner if you want more details. Hmm, sounds interesting. Okay, so I have to do them in a specific order. I can do that. Oh, I can climb up the ladder. Oh, maybe that's to patch the roof. Search broken roof. Uh, planks to keep the rain out of all rotted away and the nails are all rusty. Is there somewhere nearby where I can get planks or am I going to have to go collect, get some on my own? Hello. Eh, what can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to fix the town. Yes, I know. You said you'd help fix up my general store. Oh, right. Did I? Where was I? I'm not sure. Uh, could you have a look at the roof and then look at the walls? Once you've done that, come and have a chat with me. I'm conf I'm confused. They all seem to be talking as if they're one person. The wall is nothing but a hole surrounded by rotten wood and rusty metal. There may have been boards and nails at one time. Okay, I think I have- oh wait, I should- maybe I should investigate the roof one more time. Right away in the rails all- nails are all- rails are all nasty. Hello. What can I do you for? Um... What should I do now? I thought you were fixing up the general store. F uh, first fix the roof and then the walls and after that come have a chat- oh, I have to fix them. So I need to get planks. Um, is there somewhere nearby where I can get planks or am I going to have to go get some on my own? Uh, let's see. Maybe there's some in some here. Uh, maybe I'll look that up. Let, let me let me check here quickly. Uh, Mauritania. Actually, I'm gonna search in aid of the Myrek, and then I'm gonna check this section here. Um, uh, oh wait, oh wait, I don't think I have to check this, because I think there's someone up here that I can buy planks from. Trade Builder Store. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna buy all the planks. And buy all the planks I can. I think that's... Okay. Okay, I think that's good. I, I almost had to look that up, but then I remembered immediately. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. I don't... I, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try not to open up that, that guide again. All right. How many planks do I need for this? I've got a lot of nails, so maybe that- hopefully that's as much nails as I need. Oh wait, can I not- oh, Wait, do I have to use them on there? There we go. You use some wooden planks and nails to patch up a hole in the roof. Okay, perfect. Ah, my nose is a little runny. Okay, and then use plank and on the damaged wall. There we go. Getting crafting experience. I'm surprised it's not construction experience. But then again, maybe this quest came up before construction was a thing. Hi there. You've done a good job on my store. It's starting to look great. Yeah, but I've only fixed the roof and walls. So what should I do now? You could stock the store for us. We'd really start being like a new town then. What stock do you need? Three tinder boxes, ten mackerel, and ten bronze hatchets. There you go. Fill that up for me, please. All right. Uh, check contents. You need to collect ten bronze hatchets, ten mackerel, and three tinder boxes. Well, uh, I guess it's time to leave here then. We're gonna go run off. So this is a long quest, which means that there's gonna be a lot of things like this where it's just tons and tons of stuff. And I'm assuming they they have this crate here 
so that you don't have to bring the food with you back. Because otherwise, also there's a tinderbox, I believe, that spawns here or somewhere. Which is why I came here. Um... Where, where did it, where does it spawn? I mean, I could buy one. I don't remember where the tinderbox spawns at. I can buy three of them anyway. I mean, they're, they're super cheap. But that means I can also put the rest of this stuff in my bank, so I don't have to worry about, uh, inventory space. And then I can also just take, uh, I can take cheaper nails out. Because these are, some of these are really, unless I need these specific nails, uh, maybe that's, maybe that's the thing. Alright, let's put the buckets away, put these away. Oh, this, uh, let's remove that placeholder. Let's deposit all these. I don't have tinderboxes in here, do I? No, it doesn't look like it. And I'm gonna have to make the hatches myself, probably. Uh, trade shopkeeper. Buy me some... Oh, tinderbox. There we go. I'll take take that free one. And then I'll buy two more. Use on the crate. You fill the crate. There we go. And then I need... 10 bronze hatchets, 10 mackerels. Do I have mackerels? Or am I gonna have to catch those? All right, let's put this stuff here, like that. Oh, uh, whoops. Wait, uh, ma no, I don't have any mackerel. Uh, where do you get mackerel from? Let's see. Mackerel. Uh, and I, while I'm doing this, I'm going to make the... Oh, I need more bronze. I really need more bronze? It was ten hatchets, right? Battle axe, hatchet. There we go. Alright. Uh... Oh, ten mackerel may be required to help set up the general store. Interesting. Uh, okay, there's one... Members only fish that can be cooked. Where do I get it? Creation raw mackerel. Big net in uh it's a big net. Locations. Oh here we go. Um Relica, Catherby, Felded Pills, Dominion Games. Bird to rot. Oh, I can get them a bird to rot. Uh, fishing guild. Oh, amount. 20. Requirements. Fermanic, Jedizo, Apatala, Elf Camp. Alright. Uh, do I have enough to make more bronze bars? I don't. I need more copper. Uh, well, let's fill the crate for now. Actually, you know what? I can make all the ones that I can, and then I will, um... And then I'll go buy one, because there's an axe store literally nearby. I, I always prefer to, uh... I always prefer to make the things that I need, or find them, instead of buying them, but... You know, in a case like this, it might be easier to just do it this way. Alright. So I'll need what? Buy, I'll, I'll need to buy one? I think. And... Done. And another one. I, I wish I could do like five at a time. That would be great. And another one. We're getting there. At least these don't take very long. And last one that I can make. Perfect. And then I can go buy a bronze hatchet from the axe man over here. Uh, fill crate. Check contents. One bronze hatchets. And then I'll have to go get ten mackerel. 
Okay, I'm assuming that a few of these are going to be like this, where I'm going to have to fix their building and then go do a thing for them. Um, all right, Axeman. Wait, no. Bob's axes. Uh, oh, I can take one for free. Cool. I don't have to buy it. Uh, use bronze hatchet on the crate. Okay, so it said that there were some big fish, big net fishing spots in Relica. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go search for that. Then I can get some mackerel. And then, uh, do I need raw mackerel or cooked mackerel? I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Uh, cooked mackerel. Okay. And I'm assuming. Well, I don't know. I don't actually know where these fishing spots are. Let me check here. Um, fishing activities. Nope. Uh, oh, skill, skill tutors, skill training. Nope, that's not right. Facilities, resources. Here we go. Uh, fishing spot. Would it be those ones at the docks? Is that the ones I'm looking for? I guess I could have figured that out myself. Nope. Net. Cage. No. These aren't... Those aren't it. Cage and harpoon. Is there another fishing spot somewhere? Is mackerel something you get from... Okay, let me look on the map again. Maybe there's another... Is it these ones down here? Maybe it's those ones down there. Uh, if not, I will have to... Big net harpoon. Uh... Okay, let's check these ones over here. Net big. Uh, where is it? They're not, they're not here? Oh, there they are. Cage. Um, let's see. Quests, trend, okay, uh, fishing. Shrimp, sardines, anchovies, macro shark, fishing, possible seaweed, leather boots, leather boot caskets. Uh, difference between the appearance here in the fishing spots and just means Catherine being the Catherine fishing spots. Um, mackerel. So, do I just have to. Do I just have to bait or net? Oh, net. Oh, it's. It's harpoon. Oh. Okay, I, I get it. I have to find the ones that are net and harpoon. Net, net, cage harpoon. Net harpoon. Okay, I get it. I understand. I figured it out. Alright, so once I catch ten of those... Are there two of you? Munson and Scott. Okay, never mind. I mean, there are two of you, but they're not the same person. Okay, so let's uh, may or let's catch some of these. Big net. Time for some fishing. Fishing is one of my favorite pastimes in games, um, and uh, I have a lot of like, I have tons of like just fishing games, uh, especially on the Wii. There was a lot of them. Oh, cool! Look at that. Catch a fish off one of Relica's piers. Fantastic. Every every one of those that I every one of those uh, um, achievements that I complete before I finish the quests is one less achievement that I have to do when I'm done with all the quests. I know that's a little bit obvious, but you know it is what it is. Okay, I'm probably not gonna burn any of these. I don't think. So oh look at that! I got an oyster. Uh, I was doing great at the beginning here. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Can we get some more mackerel, please? 
I would very much appreciate that. I can, uh, I can dismantle this and dismantle that for now. Um, and then we'll do some more netting. That'll clear up a little bit of inventory space. And then we'll have to find our way back down to Berg de Rot. Or we could just not catch anything. I mean, that works too. All right. So I need... Th this is the space that I need for those. I need 10 of them. I could open the oyster also and try to get something out of that. I can also get caskets out of here, I think. Um, and those oftentimes have, like, goodies in them. Oh, level 10. Yeah, there's no there's no reason I should have a problem with this. Oh, we're getting there. We're almost there. Come on. I am very likely not going to burn them at all, which is good because... Oh, oh, come on. One more. Give me one more. I just need one more. You can do it. Catch that. Catch that mackerel. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, let's dismantle this and dismantle these boots and open this oyster and uh, is that worth anything? Yeah, we'll, we'll dismantle that too. Alright, let me find a fire that I can cook at. Or I guess I can make one. It's not that important. Uh, Alright, let's just... Oh, here we go. It's right in the middle of town. Of course. Cook it fire. Cook it spit roast. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just cook the rest of this stuff first. I can go throw that in my bank later. And then cook it to fire. Cook the cod. There we go. And then the mackerel. Fantastic. We did it. We cooked all the mackerel. And then I'm going to find out that I have to put not I have to put raw mackerel in there and then I'm going to have to do it all again because that's probably what my luck is all like. Okay, here we go. And I'm getting some cooking experience. Fantastic. This is one of those quests that's very much like okay, fill crate. There we go. Crate is now full. Fantastic. Let's head back, um, canifs. I'll just throw these in my bank real quick once we get through canifs, and then I'm gonna head back down to town. So I'm assuming, so that'll, I'm assuming that'll be the end of the store. Um, and then from there, I'm not sure what's next, but we'll find out. Mazkna. Oh, I forgot that everyone here has names. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that happened in later locations. Uh, the more recent the location, the more likely that every character will have a name. Hold on, what is this, 450? Where does that go? These are all in order by how much they heal. So this goes right there. All right. Uh, yeah, the more recent a location is, uh, the more, or the more recent a location has been overhauled, the more likely every single character in that location is going to have a unique individual name. Um, because I remember, like, way back in the day, all the characters in every town were just named man or woman, and then that was it. And, like, a lot of even the main characters didn't have names or unique characters. They were just a character. Or they were just a cookie-cutter character. And then, you know, as the game has gotten more uh, in-depth, they've added a bit more. There's still some locations where the, the average person is just man. Um, I'm, su I'm surprised they haven't changed a lot of those recently. Alright, give me that boat. Hopefully, the they can't take stuff out of the crates. That would suck. I still love how the boat goes backwards. That's really funny. 
All right. And then we get to go and give him back the crate. I Oh, I should probably buy more planks while I'm at it. That tree is... Oh, it's just really well lit because it's immediately next to a thing. Uh, let's buy... Oh, wait, no, that's the general store. Um, builder store. There we go. Let's buy ten planks. There we go. That should be enough for now. I can always run back up here and get more if I need it. Hopefully the bank is next. Um, because then I can use the bank and I don't have to run around everywhere. I probably will. They're very, they're very likely to, um, make me <laughs> run around for stuff. Because it's, they're very, they're very likely going to give me r tasks to, to bring things that I don't have. Alright. You show the completed stock crate to the shop owner who takes it off your hands. Wow, well done. You're doing a great job. I'm starting to get the stock straight out of the shelves. Quickly stocks this around the shop and then returns to you. Hey, you've done such a great job. Would you consider helping us fixing up the bank? Hmm. Sounds interesting, but I like if you ask a few questions. Okay, can I trade him now? I can. Look at that. It's the stuff that I... Where did you get this other stuff? Oh, maybe he already had a bunch of tinder boxes. And then those, uh, eel, those, those, uh, snails are just here. Okay, good. The bank is next. So what should I do now? Fix the floopin' bank, would ya? That's, we've not had a place to store valuables in ages. Get on, get that booth fixed. Alright. There's no way that this safe transaction, broken glass, most of the wooden structure of the booth has been destroyed. Use this. You'll need some sticky paste substance to fix the glass back together. Um, swamp tar? Sticky, sticky paste. Would it be swamp tar? That doesn't sound right though. Maybe it is. Um, can I find swamp tar here or do I have to go get that from, uh, get that from the the place. Maybe I can get some from... Maybe I can get some from this guy. Let's trade with you. See what you got. Ah, swamp paste. Perfect. Wait, is there anything else that I need from you? Shade luring dummy, timber beam. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, hopefully, now that I realize... I may have needed that glass that I accidentally got rid of. That might not be good. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the glass that's there is fine. Because I kind of dismantled the glass that I had. I mean, I can always go get more. I mean, it's not a big problem, but it's a big problem if I can't, uh, okay. Use the plank on the bank booth. There we go. You managed to fix bits of glass together using swamp paste and then repair the structure of the booth with wooden planks and nails. Uh, you feel it's a good job. Well done. Oh, can I use the bank now? There's still anyone working behind the booth to service your account. Okay. Well met, friend. Well met indeed. Uh, okay, what should I do now? Oh, the damaged wall. Okay. Uh, use the plank on the damaged wall. I need 12 nails, and I don't have any more nails. Of course I don't. All right, let me, uh... Okay, so it seems like it doesn't matter what kind of nails I have. So I should probably just go back and bring back all the my cheaper nails. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, organize this a little bit. Oh, I only needed one paste for that. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this paste anyway because I might need it for a later thing. Also, uh, let's see. What all kind of nails do I even have here? Deposit those. Deposit those. And okay. I don't have mithril nails already. 
But where where are my nails? There they are. Uh, I'm gonna take. Oh wait, no, hold on. Let's take the bronze nails first, and then the iron nails. There we go. Time to head back. And then from there, we'll be able to figure out what we're gonna do. Ooh, itchy, itchy neck. You know, I, this is this is one of the quests that I. This is the type of quest that I actually kind of like. Um, you know, just kind of repairing a location. I've always liked games like that, where you where you have a it's like a completely destroyed location, and you can you gonna fix it up as you go. Oh man, I wish. Kind of like um, Breath of the Wild had that with like Terrytown, where it starts off as nothing, and the house, the house too, where it's just quests to get you more stuff, and just kind of like you you get to see a uh, you get to see a thing being built in front of you. I I really like that. Um, and then you don't actually have to do a lot of the building yourself. Not that I don't already like that anyway. You've seen my Minecraft series, or maybe I don't know. Maybe you have. Uh, this most recent Minecraft series, there wasn't a lot of building going on there because that was more about exploring the new content. Um, but the next one, I have plans for a... I have, I have plans for a new build. Uh, I used to be known for, I used to be well known for doing pretty big, you know, just buildings and stuff. Okay, so hopefully I have everything I need now. Uh, I think we should be good. I wonder how many more buildings I'm going to have to f repair up. I'm probably going to have to fix the the inn or the pub or whatever because there's very clearly nothing there also. Um, and maybe a few just like random houses. All right, let's use the planks on the damaged wall. Is that the only thing I need to repair? All right, let's talk to Knori. Hey, it's you. You're doing a great job with the town. It's really getting a lot better. Happy to help. Uh, what should I do now? Well, the bank's all fixed now, but isn't someone going to serve people's accounts all on its own? You'll have to recruit someone. Um... Do you fancy the job? Uh, me? Why? I guess I could. In fact, I'm sure I could. Okay, then. Okay, uh, best go and get changed now. Cornelius gets changed into more suitable attire and stand behind the bank booth. Okay, now can I use it? Okay, good. There we go. Now I don't have to leave a lot and then come back. I can just kind of... Okay, there we go. That makes things more simple. Alright, let's talk to... Vi... Vasily? Well met, and many... Felicitous situations, said Polarized Moon. All the town has agreed that your efforts in restoring the utilities are most proper and correct. Uh, thanks, I think. So what should I do now? Well, you've already done quite a lot, and I'm sure that everyone's very pleased with your efforts. But I overheard someone saying how great it would be if the old furnace were up and working again. Seems like quite a big job. I have no idea if it's even possible. Alright, the furnace. Where is the furnace? Uh, oh, over here. Alright. So, what about... Oh, there's... Oh, those are more juveniles. I wonder what that is. Oh, is that a dockyard? Okay, what do I need for this? Solid brick bottom full of chimney to the funnel smoke out. Unfortunately, there's a huge hole in the chimney, which is probably why it doesn't work. Uh, solid brick. So, if I... Nothing interesting happens. Use swamp paste? Nope. I'm assuming I need to go get some bricks from that guy. I don't have... I don't have any of those in my bank. Well, you know what? Either way, that's about all the time we've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And tomorrow I'm going to go see what I need to go get to repair that tomorrow. Bye-bye!